Hello my friends, this is uh, Wolfgang and uh, this video is about how to deal with guilt and this is part of my video series uh, Tools for Ascension and um, let me first talk about this idea about Ascension because there seems to be uh, some kind of uh, confusion and uh, having the wrong ideas uh, can be a great impediment um, so if you think of uh, ascension as suddenly becoming weightless and floating into uh, heaven or just floating off the earth, you probably have the wrong idea. Though, uh, admittedly, you know, people um, that are in very high consciousness can levitate, <laughs> but this is uh, not uh, what we uh, should be um, expecting. Uh, in principle, you know, in the big view, uh, ascension would be the process uh, where uh, your higher self, you know, that part of you that is eternal, um, that never dies, you know, that is living in eternal life, um, to talk in biblical terms, um, you know, becomes uh, more and more part of you. Uh, who is uh, separated here in the physical body. So uh, when you are walking with your high self uh, on a constant basis, uh, you pretty much ascend it and uh, the world um, will look uh, different to you. You will have uh, more the perception of uh, your high self. Um, you will be seeing the same reality again, but um, most likely it's um, going to be more self-effulgent, um, where everything seems to be glowing from the inside out, in principle just like a neon tube, and not so much illuminated from the outside. Um, so, you know, they talk about this in uh, scriptures, but also, you know, when you go into higher consciousness, you know, you will see that, uh, you know, experience this self effulgent aspect um, of your perception. Um, um, there's also be uh, going to be more like a, a telepathic, you know, connection with, with everybody, uh, not just humans but also animals, plants, uh, rocks uh, and uh, also you will pretty much perceive probably the coordinates or the connectedness of energy and consciousness um, you know between you and other beings. Um, this is all very pleasurable and uh, these are all states that have been experienced by yogis um, before, um, most likely in peak experiences, um, would be considered probably a Satori experience. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, most of us uh, don't stay on this plane. <laughs> and um, so that is, you know, so gradually waking up into this higher uh, consciousness. I think this is up for us and for uh, humanity in general and this is what I consider you know ascension and um, of course there are so many ways of doing this and I have explored a whole lot of those and I like to share my experiences um, uh, you don't have to believe anything I say I'm not your guru I'm not your daddy uh, but just consider uh, use me as a sounding board, you know, some of what I say will resonate with you and some other things will not resonate with you and um, just, you know, take what what helps you in your spiritual evolution and uh, leave away what does not help you. That's the, probably the most guiding principles. Um, so, let's uh, go and talk about guilt. So I will um, lay the ground rules and talk about the subject and then we will do a guided meditation where we will be uh, releasing, um, you know, any guilt issues. Um, first of all, 
Um, okay, let me start with a story. Um, I once did a past uh, life regression with a multiple rape victim, um, trying to come to the root cause, you know, of those occurrences. And um, the victim was shown how she, a long time ago, you know, thousands of years ago, um, incarnated freshly, you know, from higher spirit, from a higher consciousness into a human body and had tremendous power. It was in a, a male body and incarnated in a village somewhere, it doesn't matter, you know, and of course the more advanced or different ways of this uh, freshly incarnated powerful person being in this village present uh, did not uh, harmonize very well and uh, there were many offenses by the villager towards that person which got enraged, cursed them all and uh, the whole village, kind of all those people, just withered away and died. Um, you know, this was not what uh, this person originally intended. Um, did not know about, you know, his power and, you know, but did not like the result and um, had guilt, of course, this is our main subject, and negated his male power because obviously, you know, um, he was abusing it. And in the next incarnation, um, this person's soul incarnated as a female body, and uh, pretty much the same thing happened, uh, got angry at the villagers, uh, cursed them, the, the whole village died, the uh, person felt, of course, extremely guilty about the result of the unanticipated the action and also denied the female power and then for the next thousands of years you know through hundreds of incarnation suffered um, or lived without his male is their male female power and uh, played the role of victim now that was slavery um, prostitution, getting killed, getting tortured, getting sacrificed. Um, you know, there are so many ways uh, that we get cheated, you know, that we can be uh, victims. And <clears throat> so um, this person completely overpaid, um, you know, one could say, uh, uh, because, you know, due to the original guilt, uh, this person, f you know, found that it uh, deserved uh, suffering. And uh, so, you know, we asked, you know, Divine Spirit um, to please give us, you know, a purpose, you know, <laughs> explain what is going on and how we can, you know, get out of this pickle. And the answer came very clearly. Um, that, you know, this uh, earthly life, you know, we do not know what the results of our actions are going to be. This is a trial and error thing for many of us. And sometimes we make the wrong decision and we have bad results and we should learn from that. You know, this is all about learning. And um, so once we learn the lesson, you know, there should be no guilt. You know, we should still feel loved as uh, valuable members of this earth community or of God's kingdom and just move on. You know, everybody, it should be understood that everybody learns through trial and error. You know, this does not mean, you know, to um, purposefully, you know, hurt people. You know, that's not covered in this, you know, but uh, if we don't know what the reaction is going to be and we screw up, that is part of the process, you know, just like a child learns how to walk, falls down a bunch of time and, you know, just gradually gets over it and, of course, you know, does not become an insecure person because it just fell a lot as a kid, right? So, <laughs> you know, once that became clear, um, you know, we invoked uh, the angels and, you know, asked them to please uh, clear this off. And boy, uh, was their reaction. And 
uh, you know, heavy uh, breathing, tears, a lot of chi flowing, and I mean, it was very divine, very intense, and so that's how we kind of knew that uh, this wasn't all a construct of the mind. You know, there was definitely some uh, substance uh, behind this. And um, so this is one example of how uh, guilt uh, can affect a human and the damage it can do. Um, personally, um, I also um, have um, some experience with it uh, in one past life um, due to my um, <coughs> fault. Uh, a whole army got wiped out, a whole city got wiped out, and um, because I gave uh, wrong information, because I tried to manipulate things out of ego and um, they actually let me live with the survivors and I just was so smitten by guilt that I walked the desert like a madman and <laughs> completely mad, completely insane. Uh, and But then when I died and made it to the higher dimensions uh, we all met uh, again and that was just all hugs and kisses and this was just like you know, after a video game, you know, where everybody, you know, is our friends again and shakes their hands and, you know, it was was a good game, it was a good stage performance. Um, <coughs> so there was no guilt to be had, you know, um, from the higher perspective. I also, um, when I um, deal with uh, people that have uh, that are possessed by a ghost, um, I have to try to send them into heaven. I don't just banish them, you know. Um, I talk them into going into heaven or the next higher dimension where they're supposed to be. And um, there are many of them that don't want to go because they feel uh, guilty. You know, they don't think they deserve. They judge themselves and stay here on the human born plane and a suffering position, you know, compared to what they could have, you know, on the higher dimension, you know, what we call heaven. Uh, but it's actually kind of the in-between state, not the place of the demigods, let me put it like that, for at least for most people. And so, um, and it doesn't matter, you know, what they did. Um, they are always welcome in heaven. You know, sometimes we have to have some deities come and <laughs> convince them. You know, sometimes uh, Lord Jesus has to come or Mother Mary has to come. You know, whoever, you know, it depends on the belief system. And um, so far, you know, everybody had access to heaven uh, or to ascension, not to heaven, I would say. Um, even if they have done, you know, very, very bad things, uh, because it's just all about learning, not retribution, you know. It's not about tooth for tooth. You know? Unfortunately, in most cases, uh, people overpay, right? So that's why I make this video about um, guilt. Um, and so, how do we know, you know, um, that, you know, guilt is kind of an illusion, um, you know, how do we know? So personally, you know, for me, um, of course, you know, I, I did my share of scholarship, I, I think that it is a very dry subject and um, also laden with much prejudice, but you know, it gives you some education about the field, what's going on. And, uh, but personally, I ex I rely more on personal experience. Um, let's say uh, when I, uh, you know, have a person in, in a trance and uh, I ask, you know, uh, have you been uh, raped? And they start uh, crying or curling up in a fetal position and sucking their thumb. Um, there is uh, probably something behind that assumption, right? Uh, you know, people are not going out acting like that. <laughs> uh, 
on purpose, you know. Um, so, or when we, you know, release um, certain things and uh, suddenly, you know, people start breathing deeply, crying or feeling rushes of energy flowing over them or feeling tingling, um, you know, that means uh, whatever, you know, we intended there worked. Um, but if nothing happens, um, you know, then um, probably, you know, the right subject or issue was not um, gotten or the idea was not gotten. And so in my experience, um, it, it was always about a lesson learned. Uh, you know, that uh, whatever energy, uh, you know, uh, stuck emotions or trauma could be released. Once the lesson was learned, pff, it just, and you were sorry and didn't want, wanted to change, uh, you know, the energies uh, went away. So, um, again, this is not about, this universe is not about retribution tooth for a tooth, but it is about learning, nothing else. Okay, and um, so what is the price of guilt? Um, so we, we, in general, you know, it means we, we feel that we are not deserving of anything good, um, especially not the love of God. And in that way, uh, guilt, I would consider a sin, you know, a sin is something that separates us from God, from our higher consciousness, whatever that is. <laughs> and guilt, you know, is uh, definitely, you know, a sin in that way that it separates you um, from the love of God. And uh, opens you actually up to uh, the darkness uh, because, you know, you seek uh, punishment and, uh, you know, go into uh, self-destructive behavior. Uh, you know, I've seen it in many cases, and, you know, I've seen it myself, or myself too, you know, when you f start feeling too good, you know, let's say when the monkey feels too good, when the donkey feels too good, you know, he goes dancing on the ice, you know, so you set yourself up for failure, you know, I mean, self-sabotage, <laughs> I think it's a biggie for many of us, you know, and if we wouldn't have self-sabotaged ourselves, uh, we, in many cases, would be quite successful. And um, then, of course, there is this whole slew of victimhood, you know, which goes from rape, accidents, uh, deformatives, you know, being slave, being prisoner, being tortured, uh, being stuck. I mean, when we look at the world, there are a lot of bad things going on, you know, there are, there are houses destroyed, you know, wars are just creating sufferings, you know, galore, and so, um, you know, why does God or the universe allow something like that? Um, um, well, uh, you know, it's, I probably cannot say that all this is, um, all this victimhood is due to guilt of people, but um, if you believe in, in any way or think that, you know, a law of cause and effect, um, you know, is there, you know, there are a lot of victimizers and there are a lot of victims, and if they all have um, guilt, uh, then we probably have uh, perpetuating cycles, you know, through the incarnations. And that is a very sad, you know, fear for humanity. And so I think it is extremely important that we all learn, you know, how to release guilt as a spiritual hygiene. You know, I'm not advocating doing heinous acts and then say, oh, yeah, you know, I asked to do a lease from guilt and then go and do it again. You know, this is not going to work, you know. And uh, so I guilt, releasing of guilt, you know, comes from the inside. It's wrong and not doing it again. And in that proportion of not doing it again and the determination of not doing it again, we can release guilt. If it's not sincere, it's not going to work. And um, so it's about time to, um, oh yeah, the next thing is uh, what to expect now from the Gada meditation. I think this is also quite important um, because I also have a whole series of guided meditation and I don't want people to have the wrong expectation, you know, this can be a hindrance. 
So first of all, this is a cookie cutter shotgun guided meditation, um, not individual therapy. And um, so in general, the methods that I'm using here, you know, are much more effective uh, when you are in higher consciousness. So part of the guided meditation will be getting you into higher consciousness. Uh, because in lower consciousness, you know, this stuff does not work. You know, many people take that, yeah, I tried this, and yeah, it didn't work because you were in lower everyday consciousness, you know, and so, you know, many ceremonies are designed to get you into higher consciousness and then intend, you know, works better. So, um, then, mm, we will then we will go through the intent of releasing things um, and there, there could be the effects could be a strong feeling of energy flowing over you or strong emotions coming over you or you might feel a tingling all over you or your hair could stand on end or you could weep or laugh uh, or suddenly you, you see things um, lightness, uh, rushing of energy, a strong breathing for sure. And um, so that's how we know, you know, that there was some guilt stuck and that has been released, you know, in your past, uh, because we were also covering past lives. You know, if you don't believe in past lives, you know, no harm done, you know, but if there are past lives and we in, intend to release it, you know, that's better, you know, so no risk over there. So afterward, after the session, you know, first of all, um, in my opinion, a physical detoxification always uh, follows spiritual detoxification, and so you should drink a lot of water afterwards. Um, and the following days, you know, just watch the color of your urine and that's probably the best way to go and uh, you will feel uh, more peaceful cleaner um, for some time the colors might look um, brighter your walk will be lighter your heart more open uh, and people will respond more friendly to you, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, people respond to you to your vibration and you know suddenly when you're wondering hey why is everybody smiling why does everybody want to talk to me it's um, because you know you have become purified you know you are a better person at least for the time being of course you know after some time this wears off and you know you start maybe getting immersed in your everyday lifetime or, you know, gearing up for your next lesson. You know, this t keeps going on. And uh, also it's advised to go over, um, you know, the do this meditation after some time again, you know, see if there's anything there. If you know how to use a pendulum, you know, um, check and see, you know, how much of each type of guilt you have s still left on a percentage chart and that gives you a good idea about your progress. Mm. You know, but uh, if you're a meditator, you know, you can just feel, you know, how much guilt you may have, you know, just feel inside and uh, that will give you some indication, but it needs, uh, you know, very uh, good perception or distinction there. Mm. And of course, um, you know, uh, the more you release your guilt, uh, I'm not saying, you know, everybody, you know, release the total guilt for hundreds of lifetimes here in one session, that would be foolish. Uh, but, you know, this is uh, quite substantial, probably what you can uh, release. You know, and, you know, if you do this over times, maybe once a month, um, you will have, uh, you will probably see uh, quite some changes in your life. Um, how the patterns of victimhood um, fall away, you know, how you um, maybe uh, start having more good luck <laughs> and how your life is becoming more harmonious. Okay, so uh, now I would say let's start with our meditation. So please, uh, you know, get any pets away because, you know, once you uh, start, you know, 
running your love um, they will be all over you and they probably distract you um, so close your eyes and uh, put yourself either leaning down where you can be very relaxed or sitting up in a nice comfortable chair with a comfortable backrest and first of all um, like every time you know we go into higher consciousness you know in a type of healing ceremony we ask for protection I personally ask Archangel Michael to come and protect me now. Amen. And when I say Amen, you should say Amen. If you agree with this, you know, otherwise invoke your own protection, your own entities. And But the, every, every entity needs permission. And so when I ask anything to happen, I say Amen. That means they got permission from, you, from me. And if you want this to apply to you, you should say Amen. You don't have to repeat the whole intent. That's how we're going to do this healing session. And then within about two seconds, you should feel the presence, you know, of the angel. So feeling nice and tingly more. Let's get more shami here. And I asked for Mother Earth to be here and give me her blessings and her energy and connection. And I asked for my High Self to come be with me, also my male and female High Self aspects, my inner child and my spirit guides. You know, this uh, the whole team on the inner planes that are assisting me here in this incarnation, you know, plus any special specialist from the realm of unconditional love that is required here and of course we asked uh, for the same thing you know for whoever is watching the videos if they agree now amen uh, yeah so suddenly the place is kind of filling with energy and love and you might feel this too and now we will be um, connecting our energies with those of Mother Earth, which is a bread and butter operation for anybody that wants to be solidly in higher consciousness. It doesn't matter which tradition you are, <laughs> you know, if you're not grounded, you're not grounded, and you better be grounded. So, um, just imagine that you um, extend your spine and your legs uh, deep into Mother Earth just like a tree roots itself into the earth and fan this out into smaller and smaller side roots and smile uh, you are like a, a baby snuggling up to Mother Earth to nurse from her just in the same mood and but you're nursing through those roots and now with a deep nice sweet inhale you smile and imagine drawing her love through those roots into yourself and on the exhale you send your stuff you know try to smile and it becomes more love into mother earth all the way out and then just keep drawing her love in and um, you know pushing your stuff out and it will turn into love just keep going breathing in and out and smile as sweet as you can because the sweeter the smile you know the sweeter the energy that's being transferred uh, smiling like an idiot that's about the best you know and go all the way in, all the way out the deeper the breath, the cycle of the breath the more energy you transfer and the sweeter the smile the more of a loving energy that is Okay, and now we will connect to the heaven energy, to the higher dimensions, to our crown chakras, or the energy centers that we have above our head. You know, energy field is like a torrent, you know, just like shaped like an apple. 
and you know our shushumna, our, our spine is like the core of the apple and then it goes out on, on top and the energy kind of circles back <coughs> and the, the chakras are basically extension into more subtle realms at least the higher chakras above the head um, to the more subtle realms, uh, the higher dimensions uh, of our energy so the realms of our high self and so we are aligning ourselves with this so um, just um, breathe in and out the top of your head all the way to the ceiling and I asked uh, some specialist angels to come and help you or us clear out our crown chakras now Amen Oh, yeah, it's getting much nicer, much easier now. And put your tongue up to the palate, you know, to the top of your palate, you know, in that way you can run more chi into the center of your brain, you know, where the pineal gland uh, is, and all the other important glands are. And we ask the angels to clear away any blockages that we have somewhere in our spine and our energy system that prevents us to go into higher states of consciousness, into higher energy, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes now. Amen. Please find or remove and clear all any resistances and any resistances to release all resistances. Amen. And you probably should feel some tingling or becoming light or some energy movement as a reaction to this. And I also ask, you know, our whole healing team here, you know, and God, of course, that whatever we're doing here, doing this video, you know, is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes only. Amen. All right, and now you know we address, you know, um, our <coughs> divine aspect, you know, our high self, also our inner child, you know, the guardian of our subconscious, um, as well as all you know healing angels that are qualified to help, as well as our spirit guides, you know, the whole there's a whole team of beings working together you know that will assist us in our healing when we ask for it you know everybody gladly helps us in ascension you know everybody is interested in humanity to wake up to higher consciousness you know get away from blunt materialism <laughs> and become nice again so um, I ask that um, we are those higher beings and we ourselves, you know, please find or remove on, clear on any guilt that I'm still carrying around from this incarnation and past incarnation, you know, about not following my religion properly. Yeah. You know, we probably all have guilt like that, you know, this has been a way of how traditional religions have tried to control us. And so it separates us from God, and so because of that, you know, we release this guilt now. Amen. Dear God, please find out, move on, clear on, continue to finish in any resistances uh, to release in this guilt. Please find out, move on, clear on, continue to finish. Amen. And if you have a, I don't know how to use. A pendulum, you could just see how much you're releasing. And there's a point where the pendulum stops going around in a circle. Or if you don't have a pendulum, you just feel that there's nothing more releasing. And you can always come back 
you know, to this and um, go over it again, you know, all on your own time, you know, just use the intent. And of course we all carry um, a lot of guilt, you know, of not following our parents or our teachers or those that we honored. You know, gurus, religious teachers, rabbis, <laughs> preachers, that we did not follow them properly. You know, there is uh, guilt in us about that too. We were a bad boy, bad girl, didn't perform properly at school, made mistakes, lied, cheated, you know. There is uh, guilt in us because for guilt we were being punished, right? And so, uh, yes, again, our higher powers, please find or remove on, clear all any guilt from us as a child towards authorities now. Amen. In any resistances towards releasing this, please find or remove on, clear all, and continue to finish. Amen. And again, smile. The more you smile, the more you will release the easier I will release and you might feel tingling or your heart becoming lighter or crying, if you have to cry just go ahead and cry, you know the more you cry the faster the stuff goes out don't try to hold it back okay and now you know, um, let's just move on and uh, we also carry a lot of guilt from this lifetime or past lifetimes where we were parents and did not do the right thing, you know, towards our children and later on saw the bad results. You know, some people gave up their kids to be sacrificed, some sent them to war or neglected them or, oh God, you know, they were all kinds, didn't protect them from abuse. Uh, abuse them themselves, um, you know, so out of ignorance or our own personal pain, you know, we did horrible thing to our children and even in this lifetime and then we have to see the results, you know, how they are suffering and passing on the suffering to their kids and, you know, carry great guilt and uh, we asked, you know, the divine powers to help us to learn the lesson learned but you know there is no need to carry out the self-punishing guilt and so please we ask them to find our guilt regarding parenting find out or move on clean on continue to finish and any resistances please find out or move on clean on continue to finish amen uh, yeah. and smile and breathe deeply Deep smile, bring that love from heaven and earth into your heart and breathe, breathe, breathe. The more you breathe, the faster you release. And again, you know, please find all this type of gear, find or remove all and clear on, continue to finish. You know, this can go on for hours or days or weeks, you know, and of course it will taper off. And now we move on, you know, so many men, most men in past lives were forced to be soldiers or wanted to be soldiers. There are many soldiers in this lifetime also. Um, and um, uh, as soldiers, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we carry a lot of guilt, you know, there's of course known what a survivor's guilt and sometimes we feel we could have protected you know our bodies um, from harm if we would have acted differently uh, you know this is the after the hindsight you know we already talked about how we don't know the future so we just trying to do the best we can or sometimes we had to do, you know, also unspeakable things to protect our friends or our own life, you know, sometimes, or we make mistakes, you know, blow up innocent people, shoot innocent people, do questionable things out of rage, out of fear, uh, you know, I don't have to go into details, you know, if you have the skill, you know, you know. 
and uh, so we asked again you know divinity to please find or remove on clear all this guilt replace it with wisdom and insight and compassion and healing and any, any resistances towards releasing this guilt please find or remove on clear and continue to finish amen and again past lifetime this lifetime you know cover the whole thing and many, many of you, especially men, will feel, <laughs> may feel, if you're not blunted out, a lot of energy movement. And of course, you know, we all have to make decisions, and sometimes, you know, if we hurt others, unintentionally, you know, out of our, we're not sensitive, we don't consider others. When we make the decision and when we're more mature, you know, we see the action, you know, we ridden again, you know, by guilt, by having made wrong decision, you know. And we cannot change the past, uh, but we can, we, first of all, we ask that the angels, volunteer angels come and help and bless those people that we hurt and help repair the damage. And we ask those people for forgiveness, at least their high self that know what's going on. And we forgive ourselves and we release this guilt now to the angels from past lifetime and this lifetime, you know, just uh, having done the wrong stuff that affected a lot of people now. Amen. That's a big one. Please find or move on. <laughs> Clear. Continue to finish. Amen. Uh, and try to stay in your heart. Do not go into your mind. You know, stay in the heart. And you know, you sometimes you know you hear me giggling and laughing because it's my inner child that's doing it, and uh, you know that he's coming from a place of innocence. Ah, uh, yeah. Phew. And whatever else is stuck there, you know, we ask the angels to continue clearing, you know, as time progressive progresses, you know, till it's all gone for our highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. <coughs> so we talked about, you know, survivor guilds already as soldiers, but you know, so many of us, you know, survived cancer, survived car accidents, uh, survived the plague in past life, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, there is survivor's guilt of many aspects. And so if we have any of this, you know, from past lifetimes in this lifetime, you know, please find out or move on clear and continue to finish. Amen. And any resistances towards releasing this, you know, please find or remove or clear or continue to finish. Amen. And of course, you know, um, many of those themes are overlapping, but still, you know, the more specific you are in releasing, you know, the more you can release in my experience. So, um, many times, you know, we failed as providers, you know, whether we were male or female, um, you know, maybe we had abandoned our, our kids or people in our charge, you know, this we could have been a general or a king or some kind of, you know, <laughs> the head of a village, the mayor, pfft, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, you might even be a kid and had to take care of the chickens, you know, and you didn't take care of those and they died. You know, so there is guilt about not providing properly, you know. Um, and so if we carry any of this guilt, you know, um, we ask the divinity, you know, to please give us the wisdom not to do this again, the insight, the compassion, the wisdom and love, you know, and we ask, you know, and we give this guilt guilt by way now for highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes please find or remove all and clear all continue to finish amen 
and any resistances, you know, to releasing those guilt, you know, please find or remove all and clear all and continue to finish. Amen. And as next, you know, um, we all, you know, probably in some lifetimes at least, you know, have had authority. <laughs> and maybe in this lifetime, if you don't have authority, you abuse it in past lifetimes and get to see the other end of the stick there. And so, you know, whatever uh, guilt we're still carrying from abusing authority in our past life, you know, this could be... A, scientific authority, priestly authority, um, the authority of a matron or patron, you know, where we run the lives of other people, or, uh, you know, there's so many authorities, <laughs> or authoritas, you know, people that uh, don't really do deserve the power, but anyhow, you know, whenever we ha have authority, we have to make decisions and of course, just by as a number gain, some of those decisions are wrong and affect other people and cause suffering. You know, it's just we can't always make the right decisions because we don't know the future. There's many unforeseen things happening, and we still think, you know, it was all our doing, and it's our guilt, and we have to release this guilt. So we ask again the divinities, you know, please find or remove or clear all any guilt about misusing or abusing authority for our highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes please reprogram us you know that we always use authority wisely for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes from now on amen and any resistances you know that's still in us you know towards releasing you know, this guilt, please find or move on, clear and continue to finish. And of course, we ask volunteer angels to please rectify, you know, all the wrongs, you know, we have done so far. Amen. And we apologize to all our victims, you know, sincerely. Amen. Uh, right, and now this might sound a little weird, but you know, in my experiences, you know, bullies always started their bullying, you know, with uh, trying to, you know, install guilt in their victim, uh, you know, for uh, accuse them to have done something wrong, you know, they come up with some cockamania, like you looked at me wrong, you know, or you offended me greatly, or you are such a scum, and that's why you deserve this. So uh, I have been bullied, and other people have been bullied, and probably most of us had encounters, or have been bullies ourselves, and, you know, it is sad, uh, you know, sometimes we pounce on the weak, because that makes us feel strong. I have been there myself, and <laughs> I feel a lot of shame or guilt about that myself. Uh, and so, you know, it's just like we should learn from this lesson and, uh, you know, be nice to the weak, <laughs> right? This, uh, this pure Christianity, you know, or compassion of the Buddhist or Native American, you know, sharing, you know, I mean, all the traditions have been nice to the weak and you know don't abuse them <laughs> so but we all have you know that's why you know that admonishment and so we asked you know i asked the divinity to please find or remove on clear all any guilt i'm still carrying from this lifetime and past lifetime about bullying people now amen and any resistances, you know, that are there about me bullying people, you know, please, and to release this guilt, please find or move on, clear on, continue to finish. And while this clearing is going on, I also ask the angels to, you know, rectify any wrong, you know, that any suffering, relieve any suffering that I've caused through this bullying, and I apologize to those beings that I have bullied, to my deepest regret, amen. Uh, yeah. And 
and again please find or remove or clear any guilt I have about bullying and infuse me with wisdom and upgrade me to the highest compassion I can have at this time. Amen. And well, of course, then there's, you know, the real big one, you know, the real big guilt is about uh, sexuality, you know. Um, sexuality is such a strong urge in us. <laughs> um, I go so far as to say, you know, each of us is here because of the strong sexual urge of their fathers. Right? If they would have been more laid back, uh, they are out of the gene pool, you know, but um, because um, they did anything, you know, they could, you know, to propagate their seed, uh, that's why you are here, you know, and um, so the sexual urge, you know, has been one of the main contributors you know, for um, the survival of your uh, genetic material, and so it should not be seen as a mistake of God. You know, it's a very natural thing. Of course, it should not be abused. You know, you should not go around, go around. You know, rape. Uh, you know, that is not good because, you know, or create unwanted children, you know, that is not a good thing, you know, there are very severe consequences on this. But in, in general, because, you know, sexuality is so difficult to control, um, you know, pretty much everybody failed, you know, whether they were priests, you know, as we can see now with those Catholic, you know, abusing little boys scandals and, um, so it created a lot of hypocrisy, um, you know, and also a lot of guilt, you know, and of course the church loved um, to put people into guilt because that's how you can easily control them and maybe even charge for the release of guilt, you know, that's where the Lutherans come from, they didn't like that kind of thing, you know, they caught on to that. So. Um, if you don't have to pay anybody for the release of guilt, uh, but I would say the uh, uh, the guilt around sexuality, you know, is something to be given up, and probably everybody has them. You know, even uh, as little children, you know, innocent uh, pleasure, you know, uh, and nudity, you know, we're ashamed. And so some of us carry very, very deep shame about their genitalia and sexuality in them, and it's definitely a hindrance, you know, of the of our, you know, divine expression of our sexuality, and this is sin as such. So we ask, you know, our divine of divine helpers to please find or remove and clear all any sexual guilt that we're carrying from this lifetime and past lifetimes. Amen. And any resistances, you know, um, to releasing this guilt, you know, please find or move on, clear on, continue to finish. Amen. And even, you know, the guilt that we're carrying from, you know, having been a sexual prey or a predator, you know, um, you know, we, we ask that this be forgiven and released, you know, in the proportion that we uh, repent this and not doing it again and actually maybe trying to help the situation. Amen. And we ask volunteer angels to please heal and help all those people, you know, and ourselves that we have damaged that way throughout the timelines. And we are deeply apologize for this. Amen. And forgive ourselves. We also forgive ourselves for those transgressions and for having those urges. Amen. And we ask to have help, you know, to control those urges or to express those urges in ways that are not harmful to anybody and find the highest expressions for those energies, the highest, most divine expression for those energies from now on. Amen. 
Ah, that hit it on the head. All right. Now, my friends, there are probably other things that you are guilty upon, and uh, let's take this time, let's ask your high intelligence to kind of show you, you know, what other big guilt, you know, you're carrying in you uh, that we haven't covered yet. Now, amen. And whatever pops into your mind, no, don't judge it, just consider it. And we ask that the divine hierarchy uh, help you release this guilt and get the wisdom. We know not to do this again. Learn from it and release it now. Amen. For the highest good in divine harmony with, with the most benevolent outcome and any resistances that are in me to release in this. Please find our mover and clear and continue to finish. Amen. Uh, yeah. And now we ask, you know, they do our spirit guides to fill this vacuum in us, you know, that has been in our energy, in our light, that had been occupied, you know, before by the guilt we were carrying, to fill it with, with their love, with their healing energy, and to upgrade, you know, our divine blueprint, you know, to the latest edition that is most appropriate for us at this time. We also ask, you know, while we're being charged up, that our protective egg, you know, our shield, that shields us from negative energies, any tears in our aura, you know, please be repaired and cleared out, and that any cordings that we have you know, from other people that we establish out of guilt to feel them energy and stuff like this, that they believe or that have been installed when we were open due to guilt, you know, to manipulate us. Uh, please find out or move on, clear on, continue to finish now. Amen. And we ask that those cordings, you know, never can be reattached again. for our highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Ah, oh, yeah, this feels good. And we, we thank all the beings that have helped us. And we ask them to keep helping us and showering us with their blessings and help in our ascension and guide us to get the right knowledge that we will be open to receiving the right knowledge and discern what is applicable to us and what not and any resistances that are in there in us to to see in the truth of what is best for us please find our move on clear and continue to finish amen now i asked the my divine help us to close any gateways, energy gateways that have been opened, you know, to close the session. And I thank him so much for coming and helping. I asked them to help with the transition and integration into our higher wisdom, into our higher compassion into our personal ascension. My friends, uh, you can open your eyes now. Uh, imagine that you have a laser going through you, top to bottom through your heart, then left to right, meeting that laser in your heart, then front to back. And your awareness should snap into focus now. You know, all your subtle bodies are aligned now. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Um, drink a lot of water. Take it easy. Yeah. Subscribe to my uh, videos. Uh, share them on your Facebook. Share them with your friends. Um, 
watch all my videos you know if you think you learned something uh, you can give donations <laughs> there are links uh, below just to click on see more below the picture and uh, there's more information and I love you namaste